Hello, how's everyone doing? This is Steven with the Phoenix Store. Today we're going to be checking out the new Phoenix HP 35R and the Phoenix HP 35R SAR. There is a couple small significant differences between the two, so we're going to take a quick look and see what those are. Let's jump right into it. So again, we're going to be checking out the Phoenix HP 35R and the Phoenix HP 35R SAR. I know it's kind of a mouthful. But the Phoenix HP 35R headlamp, this is a perfect search and rescue headlamp. It delivers an impressive 4,000 lumen output. You can use both spot and floodlight separately. Um, they can be used independently or together. It offers precise control with a rotary mode selection switch and an electronic push button output. So your rotary switch means if you want to go from spotlight or floodlight, simply rotate your switch to either one of your three settings. This is your spotlight. Second setting is your floodlight, and the third is your spot and flood together. Now, I don't want to face it right at the camera because it'll make it distorted, so it kind of messes things up, so that's why it's kind of off to the side here. So, this is probably one of the most utilitarian headlamps that Phoenix offers right now. Um, it has a warm white color temperature of the LED of about 3,000 Kelvin, a 450 meter beam distance, which is very impressive, nearly 29 hours of runtime. Um, it excels in any environment. So the additional features on this include USB-C recharging, which is right here. You can use this as a power bank as well. It does come with an additional cord, so you can use that as your power bank. It has what's called intelligent proximity brightness downshift. Now that's just a really big word for when it is super bright and something gets really close, it'll actually ramp this down so it doesn't A, burn you, or say if it's upside down, it doesn't like light a fire somewhere. So, as you can see, it's on, and if you push this button, this is how you make the brightness more. So if you go to your brightest setting, and again, I'm going to face it away from the camera. Now, if it gets too close to the sensor, watch what it does. As you can see, I'll take it away real quick, and it actually ramped down to the lowest setting. And back up again. So that is a really cool function that Phoenix has implemented with these. Now, like I was saying, this headlamp does come in two different versions. This is the standard HP 35R, and the one over here is the HP 35R SAR. Now, SAR stands for Search and Rescue. Um, the output, the functions, they're all the same. The SAR version is slightly larger, but it also includes a flame retardant headband and it features an NVG shroud compatible helmet mount. That's what this is right here. Um, it also takes, let's see, your standard version, I'm sorry, also is helmet mountable and the adapters and brackets for that is you'll need to get the ALG-04 or the ALG-03 and that will make this helmet ready. Um, those are sold separately. They do not come with either of these. Another really cool function I wanted to show is this looks big. It looks bulky. One of the cool things that they did is instead of carrying all of this around on top of your head, what they've done is they've included a longer cable. And what you do for that is simply slide your battery pack off. 
Now you can disconnect it from right here. Simply pull it apart. Now your battery pack is completely separate. You plug in your extension cable, one here and one to the other side. Now you can keep this in your pocket. You can keep it in a backpack. Uh, you can carry it. It also has a red light function. If you hold down the button, it'll flash. And if you press it one more time, it stays on. So that's if you have it on your head or on a backpack or whatever. Somebody can see you from a far distance and they can tell where you're at. So they've really outdone themselves um, with these little subtle kind of unique features. And to put it back on, you simply take the battery pack, slide it back on, and there you are. So, again, the big differences are this, the SAR model is helmet ready and your standard 35R model is ready to go, put it on your head, you are set to go. Both of them have the detachable battery pack, both of them have the red light, both of them are power bank functions. Um, the SAR does have the flame retardant and flame resistant band. So those are just kind of the similar but different um, things they have. So for your standard version, which is this one, the width is 3.7 inches, has a height of 2.26 inches, and a depth of 1.92 inches and your SAR model is just slightly larger with a width of 3.91 inches, height of 2.15 inches, and a depth of 2.10 inches. And as far as your battery case, your length is 3.75 inches, a width of 2.2 inches and a depth of 1.57 inches. So they are large, but these are absolute top of the line search and rescue, um, miners, you name it. If you need a an exceptionally bright headlamp, one that is extra durable, one that comes ready to throw on a helmet or one that comes ready just to toss on your head, you definitely want to pick out the Phoenix HP 35R and the HP 35R SAR. And that is going to wrap it up for the headlamp differences. If you guys haven't done so already, do us a favor, hit that like button. If you haven't, hit the subscribe button. You can go back, check out some of our other videos. We have all kinds of them with demos and all kinds of sorts of things. If you guys have any questions, do me a favor. Leave a comment down in the comment section and say, Hey, what's this? Or, Hey, what's that? And I will love to answer your questions and do anything I can to get those answered for you in a timely manner. Again, this is Steven with the Phoenix Store. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, take care, stay safe. Bye-bye.